OptimumT is a tire data visualization and modeling software from Optimum G, a vehicle dynamics consulting firm. The software program OptimumT is broken up into two main parts, visualization and model fitting. The visualization part allows you to create graphs in 2D or 3D, plotting any of the 45 variables. The model fitting allows fitting of any of the seven supported tire models to tire data, or even fitting of user-defined tire models. OptimumT is designed with user friendliness and flexibility in mind. This starts right at the tire import wizard. I'm going to open a CSV file. Now I've got a few options in case the file is a non-standard format. Most of the time we can just choose the default settings. Now we choose the variables that each column represents along with the unit. In this case, I'm going to use a template that I've already set up. Now that we've imported some data, we can plot it. In this case, we're plotting the lateral force versus the slip angle. You can fit any of the seven supported tire models to data. We can also create our own custom tire model and fit model coefficients the same way. Now we choose what we want to fit. We'll choose a pure lateral model. We can also choose any coordinate system we wish for the tire model that we're fitting. This doesn't need to be the same as the coordinate system that the data was imported in. Optimum T will do all the versions required. There are a few user-specified coefficients in some of the models. In this case, we'll enter the nominal load for this tire as 4,500 newtons. Now we choose boundaries for each of the coefficients. In most cases, the default boundaries work quite well, but you have the option of modifying them if needed. We can choose how the error is evaluated and also change some parameters for the algorithm. We'll leave the defaults here. We'll start the fitting and go back to the visualization part of Optimum T. Now we're going to explore some of the advanced visualization options of Optimum T. We'll start by graphing a tire model that we've already fit. Now we're going to change the vertical axis to show the instantaneous cornering stiffness, which is the partial derivative of the lateral force with respect to the slip angle. This tells us the relative responsiveness of the tire to slip angle changes. We've made a change to this graph. If we will need to create a similar graph in a different project, we can create a graph template. We'll call our new template DemoGraph. Now we'll switch back to the model fitting window. The model has finished, with an arrow between the model and data of 1%. We can click Finish to bring the results into Optimum T. Now that we're back in Optimum T, we'll unselect the items that are currently being displayed and show the data that we imported a few seconds ago, overlaid with the model that we just fit to verify the quality of the fit. We can see that we got a reasonably good fit. Optimum T is organized into worksheets. This allows you to create a number of graphs and display them separately. We'll create a new worksheet now, and we'll rename it Instant Cornering Stiffness, since this is what we're going to be putting on the graph. Now that we've got a new worksheet, we're going to add a graph to it. We're actually going to use the template that we just created. Now we've got an exact copy of the graph that we created earlier. We're going to switch back to the first worksheet and reload the template that was originally used for this graph. We're also going to overlay some data with this model. In Optimum T, you can overlay as many model and data sets as you wish. This is useful when verifying the quality of model fits as well as when comparing different tire constructions. We'll make this graph into a 3D graph now. We'll make the depth axis represent the vertical load. Now the model and data are shown in three dimensions. We can also view tire models as surfaces instead of lines. This type of plot is sometimes more useful in three dimensions than a line plot. We'll change this graph back to a 2D line plot. Optimum T has a feature to simplify the process of making adjustments to tire models by simply holding the mouse button down on the plus or minus button next to each coefficient. We can see what effect a 10% change would have. If we double click on this button, we can actually make this change. Now that we've created a tire model, we can export it from Optimum T and use it in a simulation package. In this case, we'll export it as a TIR file. For more information about OptimumT, visit OptimumG.com.